Hey guys, Roast here with another Realm of the Mad God Guide. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the Mark and Daily Quest system. I'm going to cover how to get marks, how the Daily Quest system works, and what loot you can get from there. The next video I put out should be a, either a trading guide, a Lost Halls and Cultists guide, or an Exaltation system guide. So comment with which one you want, and I will make it happen. If you enjoy this content, remember to like and subscribe to help us hit that thousand sub goal. And I also want to give a huge shout out to my patrons. If you want to join them, that link is in the description. With the intro out of the way, let's get into the mark and quest system. Marks, like this guy over here, are items that drop upon defeating the boss of every dungeon. They don't stack, meaning they only you can only have one in each slot, and they only drop from the main boss of the dungeon, so treasure rooms won't matter for those. Or for getting these. Marks are important because they can be turned in to the Tinkerer for rewards, and if you don't know, the Tinkerer can be found in the Daily Quest Room, which is on the right on the way to the Realm Portal. So if you just go into the Nexus, it's this building right here. Um, every day, the Tinkerer has quests you can turn in for uh, rewards, or he yeah, has quests you can complete by turning in either marks, potions, or eggs, and in return, he gives the rewards listed. He also has these quests for treasures, but these are unobtainable unless you find a player to trade with. So basically, ignore these. You can't do them anymore, basically. Um, but you turn in marks, potions, or eggs, and you get the rewards listed. Look for dungeons you can easily complete, and for dungeons he asks you to complete only once if you're in a hurry. Important to note that of all these rewards, when you complete the quest, the rewards are sent to your gift chest, not to your vault or your inventory. So, with something like potion fusion, you can take potions that are filling up space and about to go to waste and start sending them to your gift chest instead, where they can stack infinitely. In addition to the standard daily quest tab, there's also an events tab right here. Um, under this tab, special things like the Easter event quest can be found, or right now there's a shards quest where I turn in these marks and I get these special shards. These quests will typically use special drops that occur only during the event, but that depends on the exact event. There's also a bunch of other special things that go on, but yeah, just feel free to read through here and see what all things are available. If you're curious, I've also got a special breakdown of all the quests that are available every single day. The Tinkerer will always offer the following quest each day. There will always be one scout quest where you clear a dungeon that drops basic stat pots and get two more as a reward. There will always be one beginner quest, which is designed for characters below level 20. The beginner quest chest can reward the following loot. There will always be two standard quests, which are designed for mid tier level 20 characters without any maxed stats. The standard quests can re the standard quest chest can reward decent gear if you are lucky. There will always be two mighty quests, and these are designed for higher geared level 20 characters with a couple maxed stats. These can drop gear starting at tier 10 and higher, which makes them pretty decent. There will always be one epic quest. Epic quests require doing exaltation dungeons, and as such are intended for maxed out characters and very experienced players. These will reward tier 12 plus gear along with potentially dropping items from the dungeon you had to get marks from, and a lucky clover for better luck in future runs. There will also be craft quests, such as... There will always be one greater potion craft quest, where you take three of a stat potion and turn it into one greater version. Uh, you do lose one potion, kind of, in this process, but the good news is you can store them indefinitely in your uh, gift chest, so... It's a good idea to do this if you're running low in space in your uh, potion chest. Um, and then you can also do an egg or laundry craft chest where you turn three eggs or some potions and holy water into... Oh, where is it, this one? I don't actually see it here today. Uh, but you turn three eggs or two potions and a holy water into a laundry item, and that will just remove all the dyes from your character at the moment. Um, anyways, I hope this video helped you get a grasp on how the daily quest system and mark system works in Realm of the Mad God, but if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. If it did help, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any other guides, and check out the Realm of the Mad God guide playlist I have in my profile. Remember to vote for what video you want to see next, and I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, keep it beefy, boys. Hello 